You don't get me high like you used to. You've been bringing me down. All right, guys. So even just writing out the title to this video seems ridiculous to me because it's obviously such a long journey from being an amateur volleyball player to becoming a professional. But I guess it's not as well known as something like how to become a teacher, which actually, as I say that out loud, I have no idea how to become a teacher. So I guess it's just one of those things when you're in it, you know it, when you're not, you don't. And I'm in it and I know it. So I'm making this video five steps outlining how to become a professional volleyball player. Snap. I don't know why I did that. Here's the video. <laughs> Welcome guys, my name is Key Michael. I have been a professional volleyball player for 10 years of my life. <laughs> and in this video, I'm outlining five steps that I took to go from amateur to professional and stick around for the end because I'm gonna give you a bonus tip as well. Step number one, learn to play volleyball. <laughs> Okay, that seems so obvious. Wow, Kira, thanks for that. But don't click away yet. I promise you this video is not garbage. What I mean by that is learn every aspect of volleyball. Don't specialize until you truly have to. When I was younger, I was super tall. So I was thrown immediately into the middle and I really didn't do that much passing of a free ball, reception, um, setting, even serving in college, the libero would come in and out for the middle. So I really didn't get a great foundation in those basics. And it really comes back to bite you in the butt when you get to this level. And they expect middles to set the second ball, to pass a free ball, to pass a short ball, to have a strong serve and be able to hold your own in defense. So don't specialize too quickly and think, oh, I just have to learn this one skill. You want to be a really well-rounded volleyball player when you get to the top level. Even if you feel like something is not your strong suit and you feel like you're a drill killer, practice those basic ball control skills at home. Until you get better, it will be a blessing in the long run. <laughs> Number two is join a club. If you are playing for your school or just a little bit in the summer and it's think you think it's something you might be interested in doing seriously, you need to join a club. I know it can be expensive, but it's an investment in your future if this is what you want to do. So just ask around, ask your high school teammates, ask your friends, ask your coach, just have a look online until you find a club in your area because this is where you're going to get the really expertise coaching. You're going to get experience in bigger tournaments and you're also going to be seen by college coaches because that's where they're looking to recruit their players. Number three is make a video. So by this point, maybe you are a, let's say a junior in high school and you've been playing for a few years and you really want to pursue college, you're going to need to make a highlight video. So <laughs> you're going to want to ask somebody, maybe a parent, maybe a sibling, maybe just a friend, or maybe the coaches will do it to set up a video camera behind the court of the matches that you're playing in your club and in your high school. So then you're gonna pick your three or four favorite matches of the season where you were just balling out and got all of the kills and did all of the things. And one of them you can use as your full match video and the others you're gonna chop it up into your highlight reel and pick a few of your best, maybe let's say 10 of each skill, serving, attacking, defense, blocking. And if you're a setter, then setting and second hand. You can do this on any editing software. You can even pay someone on Fiverr to do it. But the most important thing is that you have your name, your birthday and your jersey number so that the coaches know what player they're looking at when they're watching the video. <laughs> it might even be nice to do a little intro. Hi, my name is so-and-so and I'm in this year and I really want to play for your school. Something like that. It's a little bit cheesy. I remember doing it, but it worked. <laughs> You guys, let me know in the comments if these steps are making sense. Is this something you want to pursue? Leave me in the comments like an emoji of volleyball or something. I don't know. Alrighty, step number four is the recruiting process. Getting recruited to college. Now, it doesn't have to be Stanford or USC, but if you can get into a Division One or a Division Two school, that's where you're going to get the best coaching, the best training, the best facilities, and really just take your game to the next level. I'm mainly talking to US kids here because somehow in Europe, sports doesn't seem to be quite as intertwined in the college system. So it just makes more sense to go directly to pro from high school and do your studies remotely in Europe. 
but in the US, it's just a matter of emailing back and forth with the schools that you're interested in and the schools that are interested in you. So coaches are gonna narrow down their selections and there might be some home visits, there might be some official visits to schools. But the important thing is, don't be shy. If there's a school you really want to go to, reach out to that coach and let them know right from the get-go because you might end up finding yourself with a walk-on spot there. And on the other side of that, <laughs> be open to all of your options because there might be a school that can offer you a scholarship you didn't even have on your radar to begin with, but that can open up all kinds of doors for you. Number five is going pro. <sighs> so you finally got here. You've done all the steps leading up to it. You are a good, solid, well-rounded volleyball player, and you want to try your luck going to play pro. Well, first of all, congratulations. I'm proud of you. <laughs> and you're making a good decision. Even if you only end up playing one season, I think it'll be an amazing experience, a life experience. You'll grow as a human and a player. And second of all, I just wanna reiterate, you don't have to have gone to the best volleyball schools in the world. You don't have to be graduating from Stanford or from Penn State. You don't have to be an All-American. There are so many levels in Europe. You just have to get your foot in the door and show what you can do and just work your way. So the best thing to do is to reach out to an agent and he's gonna ask, he or she is gonna ask you for video footage of your most recent playing season. Like we talked about in high school, you're gonna make a similar video for your most recent college season. And as a first year in Europe, you're probably gonna be looking at countries like France, Germany, Switzerland, Spain. Those are the levels that are probably gonna be looking for kids straight out of college. And you're probably not gonna be offered a huge salary contract right off the get-go but i promise you get your foot in the door work your way up show what you can do and just figure out the system and you'll also figure out as you go if this is really something that you want to do for 10 years of your life because it's also a huge sacrifice living far from your family it's not for everyone you're going to be far away from them for eight months out of the year but you get four months of summer which is amazing like I said, I've been doing this for 10 years and I love the lifestyle. I love the travel, I love the sport, I love the flexibility and the independence. I love living in foreign countries. It's just, it fits my personality. And if you think it's something that will fit yours, that is awesome. And I really, really recommend that you go for it. And I promised you a bonus tip. So here it is. Reach out to players that are already playing professional volleyball in Europe. When I was looking for an agent in 2010, I just wrote to a friend that I knew was playing pro and asked her who her agent was. And then I wrote directly to him. And it's the same thing you can do now. You don't need someone to hold your hand. Just get on the internet. You got Instagram, you got Facebook, you got Snapchat, TikTok, MySpace, I, all of the things that you can just reach out to people. People are so much more accessible than they were even just a few years ago, so. And you can write to me. I'm so happy to help anyone who has volleyball related questions. If you're a weirdo and you're gonna write to me about feet or height or dating things, like I'm just gonna block you and I have no interest in it. But if you're somebody who's really just curious about volleyball, life of volleyball, pro volleyball, I'm more than happy to respond to you. My Instagram handle will be at the end of this video or in the description box below. And if you wanna know more about life as a professional volleyball player, this is the channel to do it. I have got everything on this channel that you could wanna know about professional volleyball. I've got game days, I've got travel days, I've got workouts, photo shoots, interviews with coaches, interviews with players, all things professional volleyball. Be sure to check out at the end of this video, I've linked a playlist called Introduction to Professional Volleyball, which can help you. If there's anything specific you wanna know, Leave it in the comments and I will be sure to try and make a video about it. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up so that more people can see it. You can always subscribe to see more videos, hit the bell so you know when I make a new one, and also just share this with somebody. If you know someone who's really into volleyball or is thinking about going pro one day in the future, sooner or later, it doesn't matter. Be sure to share this video with them because I think it might help. And I will see you soon.